The Gods of Mars is the second book in Edgar Rice Burroughs' Barsoom series, continuing the adventures of John Carter on the planet Mars. Published in 1913, it picks up where its predecessor, A Princess of Mars, left off. The novel delves deeper into the intricate Martian civilization and its diverse inhabitants, presenting a blend of action, romance, and speculative fiction that captivates readers. The narrative unfolds with John Carter's return to Mars after a decade on Earth. He seeks to reunite with his beloved D. Thoris, but instead finds himself embroiled in new conflicts. The story escalates quickly as Carter discovers that D. Thoris, along with others he cares for, is in danger. The revelation of Martian gods, who are believed to control the fate of the planet's inhabitants, adds layers of mystique and suspense. Burroughs crafts a world where advanced technology coexists with ancient traditions and hierarchies. The city-states of Mars are governed by powerful beings and inhabited by various humanoid races, each with distinct cultures and ideologies. This intricate societal framework serves as a backdrop for Carter's exploits, highlighting themes of heroism, loyalty, and the clash between progress and tradition. Central to the plot is Carter's quest to navigate this complex society, often resorting to his unmatched combat skills and his ability to harness the lower gravity of Mars to overcome challenges. His encounters with allies and adversaries alike shape his understanding of Martian politics and deepen his commitment to protecting those he cares about. The novel also explores themes of divine intervention and the manipulation of belief systems. Burroughs raises philosophical questions about the nature of faith and the power dynamics between rulers and their subjects. As Carter uncovers the truth behind the Martian gods, he confronts the repercussions of blind allegiance and the consequences of challenging established dogmas. Romantic elements are interwoven throughout the narrative, primarily through Carter's unwavering devotion to D. Thoris. Their reunion is fraught with peril, yet their love serves as a steadfast anchor amidst the turmoil of Martian conflicts. Burroughs portrays their relationship with a mix of tenderness and resilience, showcasing how love transcends planetary boundaries and cultural differences. The Gods of Mars stands out not only for its thrilling plot but also for its vivid imagery and imaginative world-building. Burroughs' depiction of Martian landscapes, from sprawling cities to desolate wastelands, evokes a sense of wonder and exploration. His attention to detail in describing Martian technology and society enriches the reader's immersion in this fantastical realm. In conclusion, the Gods of Mars is a compelling sequel that expands upon the rich universe introduced in A Princess of Mars. Edgar Rice Burroughs continues to enthrall readers with John Carter's adventures, presenting a narrative that balances action-packed sequences with philosophical contemplations on power, belief, and love. As Carter navigates the complexities of Martian civilization, Readers are drawn into a world where heroism and romance converge against a backdrop of ancient mysteries and futuristic marvels.